Good afternoon. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. I'm Zuri Bibi, and I have been playing with my tripod. I brought the finally brought the three-legged, the big one, with me, and playing with my cards, just trying to find a the right mix. I wasn't having the right mix for a while. I had posted a video. Then I deleted it because I wasn't feeling it. Um, so here we are. I think I kind of found something that I like. I don't even know if I'm using these. I might use these. Um, I want to thank you for stopping by and my station or my channel. Um, I'm hoping that you get this information that will um, help you work on your inner child. And I'm going to do the uh, messages from the ancestors but I am going to add an inner child card and I'm going to read a little bit about it only because that's what we're working on I mean I may get another storyline that adds more to it but I'm going to um, pull a, a inner child card so spirit can you give us a card The right card. And I don't know if this is just going to be for a divine feminine or is it going to be a collective reading? It's too many. Okay. Two cards. I don't want those. These cards are real flimsy. I like them, but they're real flimsy. There's two cards. I'll take it. Aladdin and the Magic Lamp. Wishes. But I'm going to read a little bit. Let me see what it says. Oh, that's one. That's the... That's the magician. Okay. Let's see what it says. Potential energy. What tools of your trade, resources of your business, or aspects of your professional life have been ignored or need reinforcement? Or how has this been affected so that you can't use them? How can you grow and evolve your talent? What, oh, when the lamp of consciousness is turned on, what do you see illuminated in your mind? Interesting. Let's see what it says in here. Because I have two books. I want a clarity. You create your own thoughts, yes. You need to recognize the power of affirmations and the need to protect yourself from negative thoughts in the psychic atmosphere. I talked about that a while ago, just being protective because there are negative people. So how has this, how have you been affected by this? Um, this is really cool because it shows this little kid using, using their imagination and they have all the tools there. So this is talking about your imagination space of what you can create. And it looks like she's at the library. I loved being at the library when I was a child. That was one of my favorite places because... I could use my imagination and I could try I could get a book and I could travel wherever that book took me. And that's interesting because there's a bird here, so your twin flame possibly feels the same way. And this is a feminine. So this is for divine feminine. I'll probably do one for divine masculine. Um, let me keep going. Um I pre-shuffle, but I'll shuffle again. Um, this is using your imagination space and 
how you uh, manifest. How has this been affected? You know, oh, no, let me keep going. I was about to stop. Spirituality, something to do with your um, Aladdin and manifesting. How was your ability to manifest affected in the past? Oh, wow, because it has love here. Okay, in the past, this could be in. Um, your childhood, young adult, last week, calmness. It affected your calmness. Your ability to manifest was, it needed calmness and it needed honesty. So there probably was a lot of chaos in your life. And that's probably why you went into this space of imagination. You went into this space of um, dreamland. Magic. Traveling. I know I did. I traveled it. I got books where I was traveling and doing things so that I could get away from the craziness that my mother, my mother would do. My mother was a yeller and a screamer. But the one thing we all agreed on was going to the library and getting books. So the library for me was a place of calmness and a place of freedom for me. And that's probably where, for me, my spirituality began because I was reading books on Egyptian uh, stories and uh, Mother Goose and... I was reading all kind of things, so that's this is probably where where my journey began, and I didn't didn't even notice notice it. Okay, let's get a storyline on this. Um, can I have some cards on this? Three at the most, I'll take. Can I have three cards? Look at that. Ask and you shall receive. Whatever it is what you were doing, you were trying to get into union with yourself. Divine Feminine. But yeah, there was a lot of fighting. And even though you were trying to grow your pentacle, there might have been somebody in the house that... This is the um, King of Cups. But in this King of Cups, he looked like he has a drinking problem. And I can say that I grew up in that environment where people drank a lot. He looks like he has a headache too. Just a lot of, a lot of not loudness, frequency. Something over the crown so this is yeah this is someone else but even though you were fighting a lot you still were manifesting slowly manifesting very slow as a child and the, oh, look at that I didn't even notice it before it's a star a star around that that seed of growth wow looks like she been fighting stabbed clown face she got horns on it all so you knew how to yeah you knew how to fight Got these horns. Yeah, you grew up in that type of environment. Uh, yeah, I am using these cards. All right. Um, looks like it's going to rain. It 
was pretty warm earlier today. And you have a card for the Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Reverse Lovers. So whatever environment you were in, parents were fighting. Or two adults were fighting. They weren't lovers. Let me make it clear. Because lovers is upright. This is in reverse. So it was a lot of fighting against two people who were not lovers. So it wasn't a happy it wasn't a happy household. So that understand I, I can see where a kid would go within or like go reading or whatever to get away from that. Yeah, they were working on how to figure things out. Princess of Pentacles. As a child, young adult, well, you know, whenever this was occurring, you had a lot of cups here. You had a lot of things you could focus on. But because of that fighting, it was a lot of devil energy. You know, you were always pulled away from it. And this was a spiritual this was something spiritually happening. So apparently, even though you were making headway, there were things in the atmosphere trying to deter you from doing that. This is past energy. Wow. And because this King of Cups, whoever was part of this fighting situation, had this drinking problem. Even though they're fighting, look at that knife. They will be, let me see. Let me look at it. Nope. They couldn't be in their truth. They couldn't be in their truth. And it's bloody. Because they was fighting. Yeah, somebody lived in a very chaotic household as a child. So you need to balance this out. Balance it out. This is past energy. I want to make sure you understand. But just know whatever was going on, it affected your spirituality and it affected your ability to love. Um, when you're around the people that fighting you can't think straight either this kid looks so happy here at the library and this white this white this lets me think of the divine spirituality That was past energy. So, how can this inner child work on dealing with we already know is fighting and drinking? What else? Okay, come on. Current energy. Oh, wow. They're looking to be secure. Invisibility. When I hear that invisibility, I think about you don't, you're not feeling like you're being seen. But, yeah, you're responding like this because you're not being seen. This is a reptilian brain energy. Somebody is. Not only that, Look at the claws. Yeah. Wow. You got to get out of that. That's hurting you. That's hurting your ability to love. And for you to be your true self, spiritual self. Um, let's get this story. Nope. 
That's too many. I'm not taking them. The whole deck tried to fall out. I'm not doing that. Reverse Eight of Wands. Okay. So you're not walking away from something. So you're not walking away from the magic that's in you? Is that what you're saying? Emperor. Okay, you're not going to walk away from standing your ground. He's standing his ground. Look at his arms. You're not going to walk away from that. One more. There it is. And you're going to speak your truth. Let me look at this. Because this Queen of Swords. Okay, she didn't chop nobody's head off. It's like it's a lot, it's armed. Um, she's in her truth and, you know, she's got stars here. So she wishes for the truth. And she wants to see things clearly because it's a lot of eyes. A lot of eyes. A lot of eyes. Eyes up here. You got a bird. So this is a twin flame situation here too. And these are like totem that's like a totem pole bird. Totem animal. Spirit animal. Well, I can't say. Let me see. <laughs> she didn't... It's no head. It's no head on this card. But she's blood on this sword, though. She did She did shank somebody, though. Well, she will. Well, yeah, she has because it's blood on it. She will shank somebody. I'm not sure what this book is. She has a wand in her hand. So she's passionate too. Passionate about getting the truth. Passionate. Passionate about um, she not walking away. She's not going to walk away. Oh, no. Eight of I said eight of, that's not um, eight of cups. Eight of wands is messages. So, upright, let me correct this. Eight of wands is um, messages. Right now, you're not getting the messages. Ha. You're not getting the messages. This is not good. You're not getting the messages that you're supposed to be getting. Because you're being stubborn. There we go. And you're in this stabbing folk mood. You're reptilian brain. This is this is why you're doing you're feeling you're doing this because you're feeling like people are ignoring you. You're they just walking over you. And so you're ready, you're in that you're in this mode. And because you're in this mode, it's affecting your six of wands. It's, affect, it's affecting your ability to be successful. Hmm. Okay, let's clarify this. Reverse six of wands. This is now. You need strength. to tame this to tame this and stop being stubborn feeling um, you want to get out of these burdens 
feeling like you're carrying burdens. As long as you're in this stubborn energy, you're not going to get the judgment. And you're not going to be able to go with him. This is crazy. I thought I had all these cards turned up upright, but no, they are upright. It's just a few of them just aren't. You're not going to get judged. As long as you're in this stubborn emperor mood, you're not going to get judgment. Judgment. You're not going to get the wake up call. You're going to stay asleep. And because you're sleeping, you're not going to be able to go within. And when I say sleeping, you won't get the wake-up call. Not like that. Queen of Swords. A lot of cards fell off. And a lot of cards are in reverse. Wow. Um... Queen of Swords, you're not going to be able to come forward in truth. You're not going to be able to passionately do things that you want to do. You're not going to be able to make the decision, passionate, the decisions for it to, to go toward your passions. You're not going to be able to do that. You're not going to be able to have a passionate beginning. And your world is going to remain turned upside down. You need to get out of this um, invisibility energy. Wow. I kid you not. Wow. You're going to stay um, in the defensive energy. I want to. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. What can they do to reverse all the, um, this judgment? What do they need to do to get out of this judgment? I'm not taking those. You need to hear friend. You need to go within and find the key. Find the knowledge. The spiritual knowledge. He's here to give it to you. We're on this, this planet is a, a feeling and it's a love frequency. And being stubborn and reptilian brain is going to affect your abundance. It's going to keep you in this fighting, fighting energy. Um, can I have, um, uh, can I have a card on... How to get them out of this uh, other energy that's going to affect their wor world. What else do they need to do? This is now energy. What do you need to do now to get out of this negative energy? You need to balance out your emotions. Temperance. Otherwise, you're going to remain out in the cold. Yep. Wow. Um, you need to work on... You need to work on that... Drink, um, you were in a chaotic household and it was a lot of drinking and fighting. And, uh, stubborn. Stubborn behavior. Yeah. You need to go heal that inner child. That is suggested. All right. How's, if they do that and they can heal this imagination space. Okay. I see it. This card has been coming up a lot. 
you have gratitude. What's on the bottom? Integrity. But yeah, gratitude. And it's interesting because there's a little baby here. You know, you'll be able to talk about what you went through as a child. Now that you're now that you're an adult, you can talk about what you've experienced. And you'll be able to tell you what happened in that cycle. And there's two circles here, believe it or not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I won't count the circles, but it's a little circle there and it's a circle there. So this is a Vesca Pisces. Even though it's not, they're not um, the same size, it's still, it's still an infinity. It's still a cycle. Um, they work on having this gratitude. What is the, what is the message? It's about the rain. It's got really dark out here. Okay. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take these. I won't take these. Um if you do this, you'll be able to um your emotions you'd be able to get um back in tune with your emotions but with this gratitude you'll understand with this devil energy the devil energy being the environment that you grew up in with the drinking and the fighting and all that you have more clarity on that and it's like you got knots all in the stomach yeah because that you know when you're around people that fight all the time that happens you know you get tense a lot of snakes it'll help you tramp it'll help you understand the energy and help you uh, transmute it shed that skin and once you do that because this is all these other little demon demon things in the background you know once you be able to deal with those two or what's one down here too because normally when you have that type of stuff going on it's other stuff going on with it i'm just i just talked about the drinking and the fighting and stuff once you understand that you'll be able to passionately Decide what you want to do. You'll be able to passionately look at it. You know, make sense of it. And this is your higher self looking at it. You'll be able to passionately say, okay, this is what happened. It's your higher self talking to you. And you'll be able to fight that negative energy. Wow. I've been fighting a while. Oh, there he is. I'm looking at it backwards. You'll be able to get rid of that devil that energy not the, not an individual we're not talking about shanking people this will allow you to get back in tune with your emotions let me see what else i can do oh wow car flipped over i'm gonna take them apparently they were here for a reason um and I'm going to keep them the way they were. That devil energy, if you don't get rid of it, it will stop your pentacle, even though it's slow. And it will stop you from moving forward and getting your pentacles. And your, or emotions or whatever. And you'll be in that withholding. 
so you need to transmute that um, the two of wands you'll passionately know why you're fighting because it affected your pentacles as well page page of pentacles that's the knight of pentacles <laughs> excuse me You'll be able to get back into your emotions, move forward in your emotions, and be in your truth. This was a good reading. Um, yeah, because love is what it's all about, spirituality and love. Last message do you want to give for Divine Feminine, if, if they work through all this. You will have the clarity you need. You have the clarity you need, even though you might have to chop some heads off. You might have to hurt some feelings. But this is you taking your power back. Taking your power back. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, Divine Feminine. That's it for you for today. I got to see what I'm going to call this. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. And I will be back with you soon. I was going to say shortly, but soon. Take care. Peace.